Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at what to do when your Windows 10 Start menu isn't working. How you do it depends on whether or not you use Cortana or not, but almost all these steps intertwine regardless. However, there are a couple of Cortana specific fixes. First thing you want to do, and this guide as always we will link to in the video description, and then we will embed the video here so you can actually come to this page, watch the video, pause, follow along. So the first thing you want to do is run the troubleshooter. This is a bit of a weird one. Hit your start, settings, update and security, look for troubleshoot over here, and scroll down to search and indexing. And before you click on it, it prefers to run in admin mode, but you can't right click or do anything except run through the steps. That's problem one. Run the troubleshooter. None of these apply to your problem, but that's okay. Click on files don't appear in search results. The reason for that is that will check most of the stuff that could be wrong anyway. Matter of fact, as far as I know, I don't know if these, any of these do anything differently. So click next, you'll be told that you need to run it as administrator. So go ahead and click on that. And now we gotta do it again. And you're looking for any problems. Now just to show you, it didn't find any problem. Hopefully it does with you and it fixes them and you're done. But here's your detailed information. And you'll see we're going to cover some of this in a minute. Windows service shut down, not running. These are some things that are pretty basic. So we can hit cancel on this if you didn't get anywhere with it and move on to step number two, which we just discussed, services. So press your Windows key plus R and we want to type in services dot msc and then go ahead and click ok and then click on enter now you're going to list of all your services what you want to find is scroll way down until you find windows search what you're looking for here is it should be running and it should be automatic delayed start if not double click this anywhere in this blue area and right here where it says startup type you can change it if it's manual or disabled change it to automatic delayed start if it's automatic as well, actually change it to automatic delayed start. That's a default. And then you see where it says running. Now, if yours says it's stopped, go ahead and click start. And that could solve your problem as well, as simple as it may be. Something could have stopped it. And that's pretty much as simple as it is with that. We also mentioned on step two, you can reboot because if you don't reboot frequently, maybe the service got stopped. And if you reboot and all your settings like here are already automatic or automatic delayed start, it'll come back up with your search when you reboot. Now let's play with Cortana. What we want to do is try and end the task for Cortana. So what I want to do is press Control Alt Delete. Excuse me, I just jumped over. There we go. Task Manager. Now click on More Details. And as you can see here, let me show you. We're looking for Cortana right here under Processes and Background Processes. So here's Background. There's Cortana. Right click. And you can expand if needed. You see it's suspended right now. So what we want to do is highlight the top Cortana and click End Task. You may lose your taskbar when you do that. If you do, press your Windows key. It'll come right back. As you can see, Cortana has reloaded. And now it actually added something. So it's possible that was your problem. That, that'll take care of a lot of your Cortana stuff right there, just simply ending the task. All you're doing is killing the service and restarting it. So the other problem might be re-registering Cortana. A lot of people had good luck with this. You want to highlight this text right here, every bit of it, right to that. Copy with a right click, and then press your Windows key plus X and give me PowerShell admin right here. Press your Control V, and as you can see, we copied that line or pasted that line that we just copied in here, and press Enter. Don't worry about any errors. It could take a while. That's okay. Let it run. And when it's done, see if you're working. That worked for a lot of people. Now, as we move on, we're getting into less likely scenarios. Security software and firewall, big surprise, Avast has come up as a problem repeatedly. If you have Avast, find it down here and disable it. Could help. Another thing too, if you see any exclamation points like that one, this probably won't be my problem, but what you're looking for is, see that virus and th threat protection is off. Turn it back on. But you're really looking for it here as well. So anything that's off, especially virus and threat protection and firewall and network protection, make sure that they're clicked on. The other thing you can do is with a problem with the firewall is sending stuff to default. So you're going to have to come over here. 
uh, where'd it go? Where your Windows Security Center is. Click on that. When that comes up, click on the firewall network protection. Scroll on down and reset your firewall to default where it says restore. You might want to try that. There's a bunch of different settings we could play within here, but it's a lot easier if something modified your Windows firewall to just restore it to default. And that would probably apply the same with an Avast type of software, Kaspersky, something that has a firewall in there. Try and disable it and see if that is your problem. At least you can figure out from there. Now, because there's probably hundreds of security software out there, we can't go through every single one of them. But if you disable your firewall, for example, on your third-party software and you find that's a problem, you're going to have to go play around with your settings and maybe find a default settings till it works correctly. And we're getting even worse now. Let's see, your system file checker. And that is boot into safe mode, open that PowerShell like we just said, copy this, and then paste it in and do a system file checker. There can be a best bet, and that's going into safe mode. Otherwise, click here, and you can follow our step-by-step -step guide because there are some tricks getting uh, DISM running before you run it under Windows 10. But going into safe mode might get you around that. But And finally, last and certainly least, is everything else. But people say they work. So a region could be one thing. You go to start, go to settings, go down here to time and language, and then click over here by region. Some people don't know how it happened, but the region got changed. So we're United States. We don't know if they hit a keyboard shortcut when they're playing around or what, but you obviously want to make sure that your country or region. What happened with some people is the region got changed, and when it did, that was dis disabled by default. So give it a shot if you're down this far. I really hope you're not. And last but not least, cleaning your registry. Now, we have CCleaner. Most people have that nowadays. If you start CCleaner, there's a bunch of tabs to the left. One of them says registry. Click scan for issues and then fix issues. So that should do it. Hopefully one of these things fixed you up. It's pretty much a Cortana or maybe a services permissions they're the most likely but like I said keep right on scroll until we till you get there but somewhere in here's a fix for you if your search isn't working as always a little longer than usual but that's cool click subscribe click like if we helped you out and if we didn't leave a comment we'll modify the article so that we can help other people as well so if you discover something let us know hey as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time